Okay, so the next topic here is still on the topic of heat-based arrays, and it's going to show us something else awesome we can do with heat-based arrays is to grow them and make them larger. Heat-based array. So what you know is that if you have a stack-based array, like if I say, um, you know, char a1 of 100, then that size is now fixed for all times. A1 will always have size 100. But if we use heap allocation, so if we say, remember what the syntax for that is, is uh, I'll give it a different name. We would say calic. In this case, we would say 100 and then size of char. Uh, if we do that, there is a way to there is a way to increase a 2 size afterwards. And so let's see what that is. And to motivate this problem, I want to look at this little kind of dumb program to uh, read in a bunch of numbers and then print them all out. And you can see right now that it's just using a stack base array called data of size 10. And also because it's going to make make it easier for me to break some stuff with this, I decided to put this in a function uh, instead of in main, but it's just a void function. So it's just think of this as just being main down here. Okay, so let's check this one out. So it's going to ask me for my name and then to type in some numbers. And if I type in fewer than 10 numbers and then hit something like um, X or whatever to indicate that it's done, then it prints out the numbers in the same order I type them and says goodbye. Okay. But now already you should know about some things that we can do because you know the size is fixed at 10. So what if, uh, I don't know why I'm changing my name now, but I did. And then what if I type even more than 10 numbers. Okay, that one seemed to work. Let's try again. Um, so if I type in even a few more, now some bad stuff can start to happen. So what was happening there is that we have its basic index out of bounds error like before. So we're going past the size of this array and there's no checks or anything. So it just starts to have weird stuff happen if we go too far. And we can check for this. So we can have an if statement here, like if the length goes past the size, then too many numbers. And uh, maybe I'll exit with an error code. And in order to exit and do some other stuff, I have to include stdlib.h. It would be even nicer if we could just resize this array. And so this is what I've kind of teased that we can do now. But we can only do it with heap-based arrays. So first, let's rewrite this to use heap-based arrays. Um, so instead of data uh, with the square brackets, I'm going to say int star data equals calic size and then size of int. Why is it size of int? Because this is an array of ints. Okay, so that's how I declare my array now. It's a little bit more verbose, but not too bad. And then remember, anytime I do calc, I should also do free. Otherwise, I have a memory leak in my program. The thing that I can do now is when it detects that it goes over the um, expected length, I can make my array bigger. And so the function to do that is called realloc. And it takes two arguments. The first argument is the old uh, pointer, the old array. And then the second argument is the new um, size that you want. But the difference here is that uh, the new size has to be in terms of bytes. So here we say like how many values and how big is each one. For realloc, we have to multiply those together to get the total size in bytes. So um, what I want to do is increase the size. Maybe I could add 10. So when I run out of space, then I'm going to add 10 more elements to my array. And so then I can do realloc data um, and then size times size of int. And what is this return is a pointer to possibly a new space. 
So I'll, and I'll print out something that we resized. Okay, so what's happening is that I call realloc here, and what you should notice is that the same variable shows up twice. This is always pretty much going to be the case, is we here's the old pointer, and here's the new pointer, and the magic of realloc is that they might be the same. So if there's enough room right there where you already are in memory, then it'll just give you back that same pointer. Otherwise, it finds a new spot, copies your old data, and then uh, gives you a pointer to the new spot. So realloc is a really nice function in that way is that it might be giving you a different location or it might be the same one, but either way it's handled by that function that is in the standard library and you don't have to deal with it. What you get out of it is you just get a bigger array. Um, okay, so let's try this. So now when I run it with uh, somebody and now I can type really as many numbers as I want. So let's try to get somewhere in the neighborhood of like 30 or 35 numbers. And you'll see that it was resized twice now and then it spits them all back out at me and it doesn't have any seg fault. It prints the correct name back at the beginning and life is good. So this this method and, and this could go of course, um, could go much farther. So if I really want a lot of numbers, I can just keep adding more and more and more and more. And then uh, whenever I'm done, it happily spits them all back out at me and, and there's no problem at all. Um, so this is a, just a useful little thing that can allow you to reallocate to resize your array.